Hello, hello, hello. I'm Knits for Sanity and welcome to my WIP and Chat. WIP stands for Work and Progress, where you are just going to grab whatever project it is that you are working on, whether that is a craft, craft or a hobby, or perhaps it's a chore, maybe you need to walk the dog, whatever it is you're doing that you can just tune in and listen to me chat for a while. I am so happy that you are here. I am so glad to have you. For tonight's Whip and Chat, things are a little bit different. I have um, a very quick unboxing that I need to do beforehand because this is actually going to be my whip. And I also am accompanied by a special guest, daughter number two, Veda. Would you like to say hello a second? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and we will be hearing from her later. She already knows exactly what she wants to talk about for this Whip and Chat. Yeah, I do. Yeah, all I can say is never would you have necessarily thought that these two subjects crossed paths, but I assure you when it comes to this daughter, they do. If you've been following along in past whipping chats, you probably already have a good guess as to what it is she wants to talk about. All right, one other thing. So part of the reason why I love YouTubing is I love getting to know people and building a community. However, Part of how we need to build a community and part of how I get to know who some of you are and finding commonalities and things like that is I need to actually know who you are. So if you would, please take a minute and just leave a comment answering this question. What hobby have you done the longest in your life? It doesn't necessarily need to be a craft, you know, like gardening. What hobby have you done the longest? What is it? And how long have you done it? So please take a second, answer that question, and then read through some of the other things that other people have written as well. And maybe you can find a new friend that way. For me, my longest hobby has definitely been knitting. I was taught when I was about four years old and I have done it on and off ever since then. So, and I have done it steadily for about the past 20 years. So that is my oldest hobby. Please share with us what yours is. Also, kind of along that note, my oldest daughter, her oldest hobby is probably drawing. She's 13 years old. If you haven't already, please watch my last unboxing video, my very special unboxing. That features my daughter's art and it does feature my daughter. She worked very, very hard on these designs and she was very excited to show them to you. So if you would, please take a minute, watch that video, share that video. She really does want to try and sell what she's created and I'd really appreciate your help. Thank you for that. All right, now let's get on to my short, my quick little unboxing. This little box, believe it or not, this is full of 12 mini diamond painting canvases by the company Paint Gem. This is their floral edition. They have several different mini canvas kits that you can purchase. I just fell in love with this concept of having this super short little, I mean like, less than snack size diamond painting kit. Now I will admit, I did kind of cheat here. I've already kind of opened it up and everything. But when we open it and we look inside, which this is a great little box. It says relax through creativity on the inside here. These are all of your gems. It does tell you right on here, floral edition. That is the kit that these come from. If you are familiar, some companies that have these little mini kits, quite often you see them like for kids and stuff, they will separate the gems by canvas. So each canvas would have like their own little packet of gems. Paint gem, however, like this is all of $38.65 needed for every single canvas in this pack. Does that make sense? So this is all 12 mini canvases worth of gems together. So you might use this color, 333, and three different canvases, and all of them are located right here in this package. But they do all come in little Ziploc bags, so if you wanted, you could work directly out of these bags. I will not be doing that before I get started on my whip. I'm gonna take a minute and actually kit up by putting these in these small little canisters. And while I'm doing that, Veda will tell you what she's busy working on. 
With each paint gem kit, you also get a very nice little bag, which comes with, of course, your tool kit in here. All right, is this, I feel like I'm miss. yes, there's another, there we go, all right. So you have a pair of plastic tweezers. These are um, better plastic tweezers than, say, others that I've come across. Odds are, if you have been doing diamond painting for a while, you probably do have a pair of metal tweezers that you could use instead. But these are good enough. I think that they would work. You do have wax. Theirs is a blue wax, which just has daughter number two, Veda here, just so excited. Blue is her absolute most favorite color. Again, if you're not aware, the wax does come with two sides of plastic on here. You're going to want to peel away one of those sides in order to start using the wax. It also comes in this protective case to help the wax from airing out. It keeps it from drying up. You have a small little drill tray. You have two, looks like about a three-placer multi-placer. Plus you have a pen with a grip, which by the way, I did actually put this on myself. It just was not caught on video. And then you have a larger multi-placer on the other end. Here is your color chart. They do use the, excuse me, it does appear that they do use the DMC codes for their colors. If you know me, you know that I will actually put these into my notebook for um, knowing how to do it. And I actually kind of, like I said, I kind of cheated. I did actually open this once before and I made a sticker by photocopying the back side of this. So I copied this off. I made it into a sticker using a Xyron sticker maker. I'm gonna put this in my book as like my picture of the image. And then I will place all of these in my book and that will be how I will keep track of what symbols are and which number. I'm very sorry for the extra noise. I have a daughter getting water next to us. All right, and then finally, let's quickly fly through these canvases and then we will get started. So, just look at these. They are small. Now, this one, my son had said earlier, um, a Snapdragon, and that's kind of what I feel like it looks like, but it says Violet. I think it's a different Maybe it wasn't, no, was this, maybe it was a different, a different one. one. It could be a different one. That looks like the violet. Right, these look like violets, but that's not what they call them. They call these bluebells, which, uh, maybe. So I'm not, I'm not sure about all their descriptive yeah, that's factors. The iris. I thought that was the iris. It says iris. Okay, iris. All right, that's daughter number one again. I'm just flying the through all has of these. Flat, has uh, leaves with it. Some of them do. See, that's the that's, violet. This that's is the, the violet. One that he called the snapdragon. Oh, okay. All right. But I just love these. You know, if you have, I mean, these, my guess is this will take you about an hour if you're just, you know, dedicated to getting one done. Probably about an hour. Um, and a real immediate sense of gratification, you know. In an hour, you have this just absolutely adorable little print completed. And then there are lots of different things that I think you could do with these. You could certainly frame them. You could put them on cards and mail them out. And then this rose. So I think I'll probably do the sunflower. They're all starting to um, die around us now, but sunflower is a late summer flower. Like I said, by us, it's, it is now autumn and the sunflowers have kind of all died a few weeks ago, but it's still somewhat seasonally appropriate. And like I said, this is from Paint Gem. Comes in a great little box right here with everything that you need. Um, and I am actually going to use their wax and pen for doing this, I think. So, all right, I'm gonna move this aside. And Veda, why don't you tell them what you are going to be working on? Okay, today? okay. I'm gonna have to 
have to make sure that's in view quickly. Hold on. So, yeah, that's in view. So, I am currently working on crocheting this pumpkin. So, I'm currently working on crocheting this pumpkin for my sister because she wants to decorate the house for fall. And I'm currently working on crocheting this for my sister. It doesn't look like a pumpkin yet, but it will because I flip it over and then I sew it together and I stuff it in the end. So that's what makes it look like a pumpkin. Uh, but yeah, that's what I am currently working on. That is. Okay. All right. Well, you may go ahead and start crocheting. I'm going to start that's putting my doing. book together here. So, Veda, how old are you? I am 12. You're 12 years old. Yes. And in the United States, what grade in school are you? Seventh. Grade seven. It's not been fun. It's not been fun. Why yeah. has seventh grade not been fun, Beta? It's so much homework. <laughs> so much homework. Um, I will say you have gotten quite a bit of homework so far this year. You've gotten more homework than your eighth grade sister. Yeah. Which I am very sorry about that. Thank you. Oh my, look. Guys, I want to point this out. These are all not in numerical order. Hold on, Mom. I thought they're stickers. Yeah, they are stickers. Well, I But did. they're not in numerical order, so I think I need to figure out how to place all of these. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> huh, that's kind I of a bummer. I just wanted to point out that they were stickers, okay? All right. I will, I will figure out the numerical order here. Uh, Veda, what is your favorite subject in school? Uh, language arts, okay. probably. What just, is, why is that your favorite? Well, because you read in it, and I really like reading. But then I'm also really good at writing as well. So I'm kind of, like, pretty good at it. And I also usually make friends with the language arts teachers pretty early on. And how is language arts going this year? Good! Yeah? I get to sit next to my friend. We're in a group together. So that's also pretty great. It is. But yeah, no, language arts is going as well as it always does. Okay. What is your least favorite subject in school? Probably science right now. And why is science your least favorite? Just because I don't really understand it. It's kind of confusing for me. We're working on like cell theory right now. So yeah. Uh, that's fun. And also, I get home. I, I got a lot of homework in it one day, and all that I did was miss one 44-minute class period. <laughs> and I got a bunch of homework from it, so yeah. If she had to go to the eye doctor, it there really was no option, dear. You, yeah. you had to miss the class. And then, I'm, and then I had a bunch of homework. And I am very sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she does have a B plus in her science class, so she's doing just fine, though, so. But it's not an A. Well, it's not an A, but you can still get an A. But I usually have A's this early on. Well, it will get there. Like, it's just gonna... October is when my grades start falling apart sometimes. October? Well, we're almost at October. No, it's next week, Saturday. It's not I think Tuesday. it's sooner than, I think, isn't it Friday? I don't know. I last I checked it was Saturday, I think. Three oh seven, three one nine. I think is my next one. All right, we are going to uh, pause you in it because I need to say good night to my son. Hi, oh. we're back. Hello, hello, hello. But a funny thing happened while we were gone. <laughs> Veda's sitting here and she's complaining. She's like, "Hold on a second, I got something like plasticky in my sleeve." No, hold, hold. So. In my sleep, I had something that was, like, poking me, and so I was diamond painting earlier. I was diamond painting, like, hours and hours ago. I just finished cleaning the kitchen, so it was, like, 10. It was, like, around 10, and I just finished cleaning the kitchen when I was diamond painting. And then now it's pretty late at night, and I found a diamond in my sleeve, <laughs> and that was what was poking me. This little tiny yellow diamond. Yeah, they, 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 they stick around. <laughs> Sometimes people shower and then still find. I know one one gal, Blunts and Gems, she got a 
diamond drill stuck in her eye. Her husband had to take her to the hospital and she told the people at the ER, hey, you know, this is my craft. And she had to explain what diamond painting is. And she says, and I think I might have one of these little plastic pieces stuck in my eye. And they're like, no, 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 that's probably not. But we'll take a look. They took a look and sure enough, <laughs> it, was, it was a drill <laughs> caught in her eye. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what happened. I also have some, I also have a drink now. This is so some water. So she can water. stay hydrated. That's some water. Uh, I call it pink squirty flavorful water because I had this, I got this little squirty thing. We went to a wrestling thing early this year in the summer uh, in June. I know where we went exactly. I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, I got that this summer in June and it's, it's like a pinkish red color and I wanted to do that so that it wasn't just boring because my mom has special fizzy water, but I don't. Yeah, I don't actually like this flavor. What did you get for me, Veda? Uh, I think it was Beach Mom. Oh. I just got it because it's blue. It's not good. I don't like this one. Okay, well, I won't get it for you in the future. Okay, it's a LaCroix flavor. and Normally, I love LaCroix, but there's a couple flavors that are like, not good. I like Limoncello, I think. I just like... Limoncello. Yeah, but I like that one. Me too. That one's really good. Yeah. That's this does favorite. not taste anything like it. It tastes like cough syrup. Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, and as you can see, while we were gone, I made some progress, too, with my kidding up here. I um, finished a row. She finished a row. It takes so. me a long time to finish these rows. Um, She told you what she's making. I told you I'm yeah. kidding up to do this little mm -hmm. paint gem. And uh, these are all square paintings too yep, they're square all square paintings. drills um but if you've never done square drills there could not be a better way to start with square drills than doing one of these teeny tiny little canvases because if you mess up it's not like oh my gosh this is a super important thing it's it's, it's a little tiny thing so it's i think that'd be kind of easy to fix all right now veda has been dying to talk about one topic in particular. <laughs> wrestling. Yes. Wrestling. <laughs> yeah, wrestling. Why have you been so eager to talk about wrestling? Because it's my favorite. Because it's her favorite, yes. Yep. Uh, so, Veda, <laughs> how did you first get started in wrestling? I don't know. She doesn't know. <laughs> All right. So, I will, I will fill in this part of the story a second. So, Veda... As well as all of my other kids, actually. Every single one? Yes. They all required, like, early intervention services. So, like, early on, um, they all had developmental delays that had to be addressed. And one thing that I had read about and that had been encouraged was getting her, getting my kids. Especially, we were really targeting my oldest at that time. Um... And I had read, you know, if you could get her like in dance or gymnastics, that would be really, really good because that's going to work those core muscles and it's going to give her that deep muscle pressure um, and that this would be very therapeutic for her. Well, we live in the middle of nowhere. We are poor now, but we were really poor back then. And so looking into dance and gymnastics classes would have meant going you know, at least 30 miles away and monthly tuitions of $100 or more a month, which there was just no way we could do that. That was just an absolutely impossible amount of money. Then a, actually it was one of the teachers for one of the kids. She had mentioned that her son was doing wrestling. And I went, wrestling? And she said, yeah. And she explained that part of the reason why she had her son in it was for very similar reasons for why we were encouraged to put our kids in dance or gymnastics. And I went, hey, so that would work. It would do the same thing. And that was local. It met twice a week at our local middle school. And the cost was ridiculously affordable. It was like at that time, it was $40 or $45 per kid, and that was every Tuesday and Thursday night 
from the middle of November through the end of March for 40 or 45 bucks. Well, that, that we could find a way to make work financially. So, but this was like late spring when I found out about it. So I had to wait to sign them all up until October and then practices started in November. But over the course of the summer, I ran into the person who was going to be becoming the head coach of the program in the next year or two. And I ran into him in the parking lot of our local like grocery store. And I asked him, I said, hey, you know, I have, can four-year-olds do this too? Because I have this four-year-old daughter that I was think. Was on me? Yeah, that was you. So well, Sylvia was, was five and you were four. I was four, so the four-year-old is me. And I said, because I think my four-year-old may also really like doing this. And he said, oh yeah, that's fine. She can come too. So that is how Veda got started in wrestling. She was four years old and we used it as really as therapy. Um, what we never anticipated <laughs> was that this would become like a lifelong passion. Yeah, so, it did though. Yeah. So that, yeah. that's how you started in wrestling, Veda. Okay. So that's how I started in wrestling. <laughs> and then now here I am and I'm the manager of the high school wrestling team and I'm only in seventh grade. So yeah, Which I've you, come a long way. She's come a long way. <laughs> um... Now, Veda herself, she does not wrestle anymore. Yeah, because I wasn't good at it. Yeah, she is. For all of the reasons why we put her in wrestling in the first place are all of the reasons why she can't bad wrestle. at it? Um, but. I really enjoy the sport. Exactly. It's my favorite. She absolutely loves the sport. Yeah, she it's is my favorite. super passionate about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm very, I'm very excited for wrestling season. It yes. starts in like November 5th. 15th. Let's Hi. Ah. Middle of November ish. November 14th maybe this year is the first oh, day of So a practice. day earlier? Well, it's it's the same every year. It's just the date will change, but it's the same like Monday or something. I don't remember. But well, it's it's, it's the of middle upsetting. of November. I just wanted to start. <laughs> I know, but we have a little starting. while yet. Oh, that is really not good tasting fizzy water. That is really gross. Ugh. Um, what do you love about wrestling, Beta? So, uh, so I really like. Oh, ah, mom, be careful. So I really like. I'll take care of this. You, you just keep talking. I really like watching the matches i really like watching the bouts because they're very interesting because it's not it's not like football where you have like the whole team and you can't really just watch like one individual person but in wrestling you have one person going up against another person from both teams in one weight class uh and it's very interesting because you can see how each person wrestles they all have, like, their own different style, kind of. And it's very fun and interesting. A lot more interesting than a team sport, especially football. Veda's not a big fan of football. No, I don't like it. Even though her favorite athlete <laughs> and, you know, special good friend is indeed big into football. So much so that what is he hoping to do, Veda? Go to college for football. Yeah, exactly. And not do wrestling. And not do... <laughs> and not... But yes, yes. But another person is going to do wrestling, hopefully. Yes, but there are, there is, yes, yes. <sighs> um. So. So that's what's fun about wrestling. That, that's, I've really, this is horrible static, guys. I got, I got some issues going on here. Um. Who are some of your favorite wrestlers? Okay, so now number one. Number one is Trent. Who is Trent? Because he is not on the national scene. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe, other people aren't going to know. Be. Maybe he should be. Okay, maybe. So who who is Trent? So Trent is one of a family of a neighbor's. He's like the cousin of them. That is true. But more like, who is he to you? 
Where, he does how, wrestling. Yes, he does wrestling. He's on the high school team. Yeah, he's awesome at it. He didn't really lose too much last year. No. I remember what his first loss was and who he lost against, and it was very upsetting. It was very upsetting. Yeah. So, yes, this this individual is Veda's, like, one of her most favorite humans on the planet. Yep. Yep, she says. Um, really super talented kid. Nice kid. We love him. Uh, yep. Anything else you want to add about him? He's good at wrestling. He's well, yes, we have established that he he is actually very good at wrestling. It's just not his favorite sport. Uh much to Veda's dissatisfaction. Although then when we mention, you know, well, he wants to go to college to play football. I will watch him play football. Right. Veda immediately wants to be able to go and watch him play football, even though she doesn't <laughs> like football. Yeah. But I want to watch him. Right. But she wants to watch him. Yes, of course. Yeah. All right. So who else locally is your favorite, so, would you say? Number two, number two is Ian. Ian. And who and is he, Ian? He's going to do wrestling. What do you mean he's going to do wrestling? For college. Ian is hopefully maybe going to be doing wrestling for college. Yes. Which is super cool. Which is super cool. Beta approves yep. wholeheartedly. Yep. What about like on the national scene? First, you're really you're really in huge support of girls wrestling. Yes. Yes. So like who are some of your favorite female? Oh, oh, I thought they were still talking about the the local ones. I was like, what about on the, you were like, what about on the national scene? Is he oh. on the national scene? I was like, no, no he's not. He's not. He's also really good not at wrestling. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> yeah, maybe he will be someday. In which case, I will be very amazed. And then I could say that one of the national famous wrestlers, uh, they lived here, and I was their manager. <laughs> You can be like, yeah, I managed and coached him back in the so day. So I got to boss them around. <laughs> That's right. And then That's be like, right. whoa, really? That's so cool. <laughs> and just wait until they hear that it was like when I was like in fifth grade. Then that would get them really impressed. Let's talk a little bit about um, you and girls wrestling. Okay. On the national scene now? Are we going to national scene now? Well, just before we even talk about who some of your favorites are. Okay. Like professional national wrestlers who are, you know what? How do you feel about girls in wrestling? That's great. I'm glad that they do that. I thought it really, and that they really should do that because wrestling is currently like a boy dominated sport. But recently I've seen a lot more girls doing, which I think is great. I do. Yes, and I really do, hope you? that I can inspire more girls to do wrestling because it truly is an amazing sport. And I say that if you want to do it, then go do it. I don't don't have any don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anyone hold you back. That's right. Go do wrestling if you want to do wrestling. All right. So who are some of the women okay. who wrestle that you okay admire? I remember this name now. This is Helen Morales. She always has a tough time with her last name. Yeah. I can remember her first name. I just don't remember her last name. And she is amazing. She got, she was the first U.S. woman to get gold, which is amazing. And one time, I can't remember if I watched her or not or if I just, like, read the book that I'm sure that my mom got me. But she had braids in her hair. And from then on, I always wore braids in my hair for any wrestling tournament. True story. In 2016, <laughs> Helen Morales got gold. First U.S. woman to take gold in women's wrestling. And um, she had her hair done up in all these braids. And Veda was, uh, let's see, 2016, we... so you were six. Yeah, Mom. I was Veda was six that. years old at the time. And she just thought this was so cool how Helen's hair was done. So I had to put her hair in multiple <laughs> braids before every tournament. And we did that for <laughs> several years afterward. <laughs> well, you know what, Mom? What, dear? It's a super cool hairstyle. It is a super cool hairstyle. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay. So, and then in the 2020 Olympics, which, of course, as we all know, Wasn't actually happened. Yes, actually happened in 2021. She how did Helen do there? bronze, which is also very impressive. It is. That is super cool, huh? Mm-hmm. 
Who else do you like? Okay. Hold on. So, next up, we have Tamira Mencha Stop. I think. I think it's Mensa. Stock. Okay. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. But yeah, Tamira. It's or either... Tamira. I'm not sure, actually. But I don't know. Either way, it's a very pretty name. And she got gold. She did get gold last and year, huh? And she was the second one, I think, to ever get gold for U.S. Oh, wrestling. no. What did I do? I don't 550. know. 550. There is no 600. Uh-oh. Oh, what, never mind. Don't listen to me. You just keep talking about okay, Tamira. Okay, Mom. I thought I did something wrong. You I was did nothing very wrong. stressed out. Just your mother. Okay, good. You keep talking about Tamira. No, no. So she got sec. So I'm pretty sure that she was the second person to... The second U.S. girl to ever... Well, woman. To ever get, to ever get gold medal in the Olympics, which is amazing. And she's also a person of color. And she wears glasses. She does, which Veda thought was really, really cool at the time. <laughs> so those are all awesome and wonderful things. <laughs> why Why is it cool that she wears glasses, Veda? Because I wear glasses. <laughs> I can prove to you that I do. I, I'm wearing them right now. Yes. Do you yes. want to see? I think they believe you. I don't think you need to show them your glasses, dear. Um. Yes, she was so pleased when uh, Tamira or Tamira, I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. I should know how to pronounce her name it's a very pretty name it is a pretty name and we've seen her you know on tv and stuff quite a bit that i don't know why suddenly now i don't know how to pronounce her name and but neither very, do you very pretty uh but veda was so thrilled that she was wearing glasses when she accepted her gold medal at the medal ceremony that i had to take a picture of veda <laughs> standing in front of the tv screen with <laughs> tamira in the background <laughs> with both of them wearing their glasses <laughs> So it, it was a really big deal to Veda that. <laughs> yeah, because you hardly ever see that. And like wrestling's like, I think a pretty hard sport to do if you wear glasses. But it's true because. Because you wear glasses so then you can see better. But then you can't wear glasses when you wrestle so your vision is worse. And then it's even more awesome if you win gold. <laughs> that's, that's right. Huh, and I know there's one more. That one okay, more wrestler I, that you I know really this one. This one is Adeline Gray. I don't even have to look. This one's Adeline She knows Gray. how to pronounce her name is what she's saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. Even Adeline Gray is this. pretty is a pretty pretty straightforward name. <laughs> Whoa. It's oh okay. Yes, she's over here <laughs> flapping. She's so excited, guys. She just loves she loves talking about wrestling. <laughs> When I was talking to her earlier today, saying, well, so you want to do this whipping chat with me. What do you want to talk about? She's like, wrestling. wrestling. I'm like, well, hey, but you know, these are most of the oh, crafters. Oh, so Adeline Gray. Oh, sorry. Adeline, yeah, Adeline Gray. She got silver. Yep, she got silver at the last Olympics that I watched. Yep, she did. Uh, and now she has twins. She does have twins. And she still wrestles, I think. I don't know. Well, she's working at it. She's only a couple months postpartum, so well, it's slow. By the way, I know that she has at least wrestled. Yep. Because I watched her. Yep. And she got silver. Yeah. And now she has twins. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, and my mom shows me many pictures of them. Yes, I follow them on. She should show me more pictures of them, I think. Well, I follow them on Instagram mostly because of my daughter, of course. Veda's not allowed to have social media. No. Yet. I'm not. So, I follow them, and then I give her updates. That's how yes. it works. Yes. yes. Is there anyone else that you want to talk about? We've talked. What about college level? Are there any college okay. level wrestlers? There's one. So, in the NCAA finals, so, I watched this with my mom, and there was this one person. Which I would like to say was kind of a big deal, because... I wasn't sure that I would be able to figure out how we could watch the NCAA championship. And she figured it out. I did. So it was it like was a big, very special, it's a special thing that Veda got to watch. It was this, very this past amazing. Spring. It was. It was. Uh, and this this kid was Will Lewin, and he finished fifth in his weight class. And he had some amazing bouts. He he multiple times. He like won the match. He won the bout in the last few seconds. Which is another one of the things that makes wrestling so great. But yeah, that was amazing. 
That was pretty amazing. Because you, like, you sometimes see it every single time. Every single time. It's always just as amazing as always. It never ceases to amaze you. <laughs> Ever. That is true. And we will hopefully see them in person this year. In person. If I see them, who's them, Veda? Uh, Will Loon and the rest of the college? Yeah, the rest yeah. of the University of Michigan team. Yep. That's that's what she's hoping for. Why is that, Veda? Because then I get, because they're college and I get to see them in person and we didn't get to see them last year. No, we did not get to see them last year. But it would still be amazing if I got to see them this year. We're hoping to make that work. Hopefully we can figure out how to do that, huh? Yeah, but if we don't, that's okay. But yes, we were watching the NCAA championships. And I mean, there's big names there. I mean, Goble Stevenson, that was his final... Um, final uh college wrestling career appearance was there um easy first place win for him heavyweight division uh but he also took gold at the olympics too last year or 2020 but 2021 <laughs> if that makes any sense um so you know there's big names in college wrestling but will luan university of michigan wrestling is like Veda's favorite team and Will Luan was someone that she hadn't really paid attention to before on the team but then he won but then he won and he was he yes he was phenomenal phenomenal as she said that's a fun word that is a fun word phenomenal is indeed a fun word yep all right so I guess Veda yes okay so a more maybe the last thing to share about the wrestling here uh, what do you see as your, what do you want to do okay. for you and your future with wrestling? So, for college, I'm hoping to be a manager for a college wrestling team. But then after that, I'm hoping to definitely promote wrestling, like let more people know about the sport. Hopefully encourage more girls to join the sport sport because i think that'd be great i think that definitely a lot more girls should be in the sport because it's it's a sport for everyone i think and i think that shouldn't be a sport for like just boys and that's for everybody and then i also i'm hoping so it's my dream to coach an all girls wrestling team but if i can't do that just a wrestling team would be fine but yeah i hope to coach a wrestling team someday maybe because that would be amazing that would be amazing and also actually yes there's more so, since mom told me that probably none of you know about weight classes, and I've mentioned those, <laughs> yes, I have them all here. Hold on. Oh, hold. So, oh boy. For high school, there is fourteen weight classes, and then you know what? But before, how about we just say how many weight classes there are? Let's not go over what each weight class is. Okay. So okay. there's fourteen okay. weight classes in high school. There is ten in college, and there's six in the Olympics. There you go. And then that's it, I guess. Yes. Yes. Okay. We did have to have a little talk before this, too, when she said she wanted to talk about wrestling. And I had to explain that probably almost everyone watching this has no concept of the sport, really. But you should go and find <laughs> it. You should go and see it and learn about it. You should. Wrestling season comes up in November. Yes, you can go to your local high school starting probably in December. And start watching some wrestling. Right, baby? Yep. Yep. And you should do that. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> so, as you can see, Veda is very passionate about this. Yes, mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Uh, Veda. Yeah? Is there anything else that you would like to talk about on this whip and chat? Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. I'm sure I have more ideas, but... Just wrestling. Now, I'm too excited about wrestling. So, can we talk more about wrestling? What else what do you want you, to share about wrestling? What do you like about wrestling, Mom? What do I... Okay, well, all right. So, I will admit, my encounters with wrestling were very, very few ahead of this. In fact, really only two real encounters with wrestling before I got my kids involved in our local youth wrestling program. Yeah. The one was my chemistry teacher in high school. 
was one of the wrestling coaches. So super cool. Well, I didn't think so at the time because I had no interest in wrestling. Well, moms, you clearly just weren't cool enough then. Actually, three. So my chemistry teacher in high school yes, I was one of the wrestling coaches. Next. And then the next one is when younger than my junior year of high school, I was looking at my youngest sister's baby book. And on her birth announcement from the newspaper, on the back side of that clipping, there was a whole article about a youth wrestling tournament <gasps> that had happened. Oh, my gosh. And one of the kids listed in this article was a boy from grade school that I couldn't stand. Oh, no. <laughs> so Yes. So as you can see, I kind of already had some bad feelings about wrestling because I did not like this boy at all. Now, it's really not his fault. He had, like, a really big crush on me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I couldn't, I did not like this boy. And then, so it's like, oh, he was into wrestling. Eh, wrestling. And then my chemistry teacher, although I liked my chemistry teacher. He was fine. Well, that's good. And then in college, there was this lovely young man who, while we were both studying abroad in Germany together, one night he professed his love for me. And... A very lovely young man, but um, I had no interest in him, like none at all. And he had wrestled for Michigan State. Uh, Which one's that? I find it very interesting that as a child, two of my three encounters with wrestling were wrestlers who had a crush or affections for me. And, you know, I could not... I didn't return that at all at that time. But then in the end, much later in life, I end up loving wrestling after getting my own kids involved in it. So it's just kind of funny that I had wrestlers pursuing me. And, you know, later on in life, I actually come around and really, really love the sport. Yes. So I like that one, Mark, currently. Yes. Um, anyway. Yes, anyway. So this Michigan next? State What's wrestler next? professed his love for me. And yes. I didn't have any interest in him i mean he was a perfectly lovely person like i said so i really only had bad like feelings associated with this but mom and i i never watched it i mean i didn't other than maybe like flipping through it like during the olympics going what on earth are these guys doing this is like so bizarre but mom okay but hear me out veda all right <laughs> But then I throw my kids in the program. <laughs> yeah, and then you see just how amazing it is. Okay, well, it took a couple years. So first year, I wasn't too terribly involved. I was pregnant with your brother. But then year number two, you decided that you wanted to try doing tournaments. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I went to these tournaments, and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know how kids are getting points. I am so, so confused. So I can't read bout sheets. Mom. Yes, So dear? a takedown is two points. Yes. That's two uh, You know points. what? We don't need to go over the whole point system right now. And An escape is one point. Because now, now your mother is very up on how you <laughs> score in wrestling. <laughs> I would dare say. Well, they don't know. I know, but you know what? They don't need to know that right now, dear. Well, we and you, besides, this is all coming off from your question of what do I like about wrestling, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it took me a couple years, but pretty soon I learned scoring. I learned how to read bout sheets. I learned how to follow bouts really well, you know, and, and, and within... By the end, by, by the time Veda was first grade, so by the time Veda was in her third year of wrestling, I realized that I loved this sport. Yeah, good job, Mom. Yeah, I, I, I fell for it too. My favorite part about <laughs> wrestling is that every single bout is different. There is no guarantee what's going to happen. When you step on that mat, everyone starts out, oh, oh. You know, you both, you have zero points, both of you, when you step on that mat. And there is just no telling. Some of the strangest stuff will happen during the bout. Like winning in the last few seconds. Right. Like Will Luan winning there, in the last few seconds. There's and he did been it. bouts that, that, so it's like, there's some like really tiny, super fast numbers. And then like some just like normal seconds. And sometimes people will win when it's on the very last few like, tiny little fast-going seconds. Those are milliseconds, dear. Well, I don't know that. 
she always calls them the tiny numbers. It's the millisecond steer. It's it's a actual unit of measurement. Well, it's always amazing when that happens because it's like the very little tiny numbers and then they win. I know, I know. And in fact, part, part of what makes Trent so special is he once won that first in state at the at one of the tournaments when he was sixth grade and he won during those tiny numbers. So that was Veda's first time seeing somebody win, like in the last few couple seconds. The tiny second. numbers. Right. Right. I mean, the story with her and this friend Trent is much longer than that. And it's not just because he won during tiny numbers, but No, it's not. Um but yes, that that is one uh significant memory of her and Trent. She was first grade at the time. But anyway, that is why I love wrestling is because you just never know what you're going to see on that mat. Every bout is unique. Every bout is different. And some of the craziest stuff will happen. You can watch it over and over again and it will never get old. <laughs> Unlike well, football. Okay. It might get old to some people. Well, then those people just clearly don't understand wrestling. Maybe. Maybe, Veda. Maybe. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Well, Veda, I think I think it's probably time for us to say goodbye. We to have wrestling? not no, just to all of the people who Hold on, is this the, we're, is this one? No, that one goes in here. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. mom, that's what I'm talking about. Is that one the same color? I I got it. I got it covered, Veda. Yeah, it goes right in here. Cuz I like that. Oh, oh, and there's more back here. Oh, I missed these. No, those just flew out. Oh. Um, so now that you know more about wrestling than what you ever thought or needed to know no! about wrestling, they need to know a lot more about wrestling. I think it is time for us to say goodbye to everybody. Yes. But why? Because it's time, Veda, and you need to get to bed. Yeah. I, you don't have school tomorrow, but you need to get to bed. <laughs> yeah. So thank everybody for listening to you talk about wrestling. But it's it's a necessity. Thank everybody. Thank you for le for letting me talk about wrestling and listening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you very very much. Like I said before, please comment below with what hobby you have done the longest in your life. What is it? For how long have you done it? Hold on, hold. On. Yes. I've done crocheting the longest probably. I started in around late twenty twenty because. Someone got me a Harry Potter crochet kit, but I did Grandma know how Jan. to mm -hmm. Okay, but I did know how to crochet. So I learned from a book. Mm -hmm. And then this year, well, that kind of this year, it was like very late December, like maybe like the last day of December and the first day of the new year. So this year, for okay. all intents and purposes, I learned how to read patterns. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. So, so Veda, Veda's answer is crochet. Mine is knitting. All right. <laughs> also, please definitely check out the video with my oldest daughter showing off her art. Yeah, she's worked very hard on it. It would be amazing if you could go check them out. Maybe even buy some. Or share the video about it. That would be very much appreciated. I know Sylvia would like that a lot. Um, otherwise, as I always say, please be kind to everyone around you. You don't know what other people are going through at this point in their life. And I hope that you take care and you have a wonderful day and I will see you again real soon. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.